गुड इवनिंग इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस कंसेप्ट ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन वी डिस्कस द फॉर्म्यूला एन सी आर इज एन फैक्टोरियल अपॉन एन माइनस आर फैक्टोरियल इन टू आर फैक्टोरियल क्लियरली नंबर ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन इज लेस देन नंबर ऑफ परम्यूटेशन फॉर द सेम वैल्यूज ऑफ एन एन आर बिकॉज इन केस ऑफ परम्यूटेशन द सिलेक्टेड ऑब्जेक्ट आर टू बी अरेज okay we also proved that ncr is nc n minus r also ncr plus ncr minus 1 is what n plus 1 cr okay uh, let us consider uh, this sum from exercise 3.6 sum number 6 we have already solved uh, one sum of this type in fact uh, this sum is for homework but just in case you cannot solve it i have given the solution okay so this is the solution we are asked to find rc5 so first we will have to find the value of r so r comes out to be r comes out to be 9 uh, we have solved one similar sum in that only values of n and r were asked but here after finding r you are asked to find rc5 exercise 3.6 sum number 7 find the number of ways of drawing nine balls from a bag that has six red balls eight green balls and seven blue balls so that three balls of every color are drawn okay means what three uh three red balls three green balls and three blue balls okay write down we have to select start writing the solution we have to select Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, we will be solving fifth, but uh, uh, let me uh, complete sum number seven, and then we'll solve sum number five. Yes, we have to solve sum number five. Okay, right now we have to select. Three red balls out of six. we have to select three red balls out of six and three green balls out of eight three green balls out of eight and three blue balls out of seven three blue balls out of seven therefore number of selections equal to number of selections equal to yes tell me 6c3 into and means multiplication 8c3 into 7c3 now it is 6c3 you should know the formula 6 factorial upon 3 factorial into 3 factorial into Eight factorial upon five factorial, three factorial, seven factorial upon four factorial into three factorial. See, uh, let me explain first. Three factorial gets cancelled, so what remains is four into five into six. But one more three factorial is there in the denominator. I replace it by six into. After cancelling five factorial, see the cursor. What remains in the numerator is. Six into seven into eight, and what about denominator? Three factorial is six. Now, after cancelling four factorial, what remains is five into six into seven, and in the denominator, 
it is six. Simplify and tell me the final answer. One student has written, or before that, I can say that this is twenty into this will be fifty six into thirty five. Please check. One student has written answer as thirty nine thousand two hundred. So this is the answer. Sum number five. If NPR is one eight one four four zero zero and NCR is forty five, find N plus four CR plus three. Okay. Now it is NPR. It is R factorial into NCR. Substitute the values to get R factorial as forty thousand three twenty. But eight factorial is forty thousand three twenty. So R must be eight. Now NCR is forty five. Means NC eight is forty five. Now, if you say n c eight is n factorial upon n minus eight factorial into eight factorial equal to forty five cross multiply, that is very uh, lengthy procedure. So we say let us find n by trial and error method. Obviously, n cannot be eight because eight c eight is one. Actually, n cannot be nine also because nine c eight is just nine. But still, I have written put n equal to nine if not. Ten, if not eleven, and so on. So n equal to nine gives nine, but it is forty-five. So n is not equal to nine. Then put n equal to ten. What is ten c eight? Yes, it is forty-five. So we can say that n equal to ten. Just a minute. Now it is asked. We are asked to find n plus four c r plus three. Now n is ten, so it is ten plus four, fourteen. C r plus three, r is eight, so eight plus three is eleven. So this is fourteen factorial upon three factorial into eleven factorial. Once eleven factorial gets cancelled, what remains is twelve into thirteen into fourteen upon what is three factorial? It is six. so this is nothing but 2 into 13 into 40 okay so i think uh, it should be 364 is it yes 364 is the answer sum number 8 uh, this is simple one Find the number of ways of selecting a team of three boys and two girls from six boys and four girls. That is why I have written this directly in exam. You had to say that three boys out of six can be selected in six C three ways. Number is twenty, and two girls out of four can be selected in four C two equal to six ways. Boys and girls. So and means multiplication. So it is number of ways. It is one twenty. Sum number nine. After a meeting, every participant shakes hands with every other participants. If the number of handshakes is sixty-six, find the number of participants in the meeting. Uh, this is good one, an important one. Uh, let me explain first. Don't write. Suppose number of members present is n. Now for for shake hand, two members are required. So here order is immaterial whether A shakes hands with B or B shakes hands with A. So we have to use combination. So it is number of uh, shake hands exchanged in C two, but it is given to be sixty six. So we have to solve the equation in C two equal to sixty six. Write down. Write the solution. Suppose the number of members present equal to n. suppose right now the number of members present equal to n for shake hand two members are required for shake hand two members are required
therefore total number of shakeants equal to therefore total number of shakeants equal to see on the screen nc2 equal to 66 reason given so n factorial upon n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial equal to 66 so all this i repeat you need not obtain quadratic equation because n is a natural number and factorial means consecutive numbers product of consecutive numbers so n minus 1 into n 66 into 2 i write this as 11 into 12 because 66 is what 11 into 6 6 into 2 is 12 so here let me explain here you have to actually write that like lhs we express rhs also as product of two consecutive natural numbers and then only you have to say n equal to 12 another option is obtain a quadratic equation one root will be negative discard that because n is a natural number so naturally we consider 12 here so finally how many 12 members were present at the meeting after this you have to write that separately answer 12 members were present at the meeting 10th is again simple one 20 points are marked on a circle clearly these points are non collinear how many chords can be drawn two distinct points determine a chord so 20 points will determine how many 20 c2 that is 190 uh this is an important sum sum number 11 find the number of diagonals of an n sided polygon which is called as n gon n dash g o n in particular find the number of diagonals when n equal to 10 and so on uh, actually for cet i repeat for cet you can remember this as standard formula that an n gon has how many diagonals n into n minus 3 upon 2 let us verify for n equal to 3 i know that triangle is not a polygon but we know that triangle has no diagonal 3 minus 3 0 we know that a quadrilateral has two diagonals quadrilateral has how many four sides so 4 into 1 upon 2 yes 2 okay now logic is very simple start writing solution don't write this first write this part there are n vertices of an n gon right done there are n vertices of an n gon g o n gon there are n vertices of an n gon full stop if we join any two vertices if we join any two vertices if we join any two vertices comma we get either side or the diagonal we get either side or the diagonal of the polygon diagonal of the polygon now i'm sorry okay complete this diagonal of the polygon two vertices can be joined in nc2 ways two vertices 
can be joined in NC2 ways. Two vertices can be joined in NC2 ways. As there are n sides of polygon, as there are n sides of polygon, as there are n sides of polygon, number of diagonals equal to number of diagonals equal to now write down this number of diagonals will be what c in all nc2 lines but all of them are not along diagonal so n are along the sides so remaining means nc2 minus n are along the diagonals okay what is nc2 n factorial upon n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial minus n factorial of greater is factorial of smaller go on adding one on this you get greater so n minus 2 factorial gets cancelled what remains is this simplify to get this now in exam write on this in exam if only one particular part is asked say a hexagon or decagon or a polygon having say 100 sides then you need not prove this i have given this for cet so you can just keep number of Diagonals nc2 minus n. That's it. If n is 7, 7 c2 minus 7. I repeat this formula is not the standard result. This is just for CET. Because for CET, this topic is there. Okay, so once again, so in the first case, they say n equal to 10. You may just say that two distinct points determine a line. So 10 points determine 10 C2 lines of which 10 are along the sides. So remaining that is 10 C2 minus 10 are along the diagonals. What is 10 C2? 45 less 10, 35. Or if we have obtained this, I repeat, this is not the standard formula, but in some cases you are asked to prove this and then one for one mark, this will be asked if n is 10, what is number of diagonals? In that case, you can say 10 into 7 by 2, that is 35. Uh, B, C and D parts are for homework. These are the answers. Sum number 12. There are 20 straight lines in a plane so that no two lines are parallel. This information is not sufficient. Next part is important and no three lines are concurrent. This is important. Determine the number of points of intersection. So because of this information, clearly number of points is 20 C2 because two lines can intersect at one point and every two lines are intersecting at a point. So 20 C2, that is 190. Sub so number 13, 10 points are plotted on a plane, find the number of straight lines obtained by joining these. If A part, no three points are collinear. B part, four points are collinear. Now let me explain first, don't write. See, two distinct points determine a unique line. Okay. Now, 10 points are non-collinear. Two points are always collinear. Question arises in case of three or more distinct points. So number of lines is what? 10C2, you should be able to find 10C2 directly, 10 factorial upon 8 factorial into 2 factorial. So 9 into 10 upon 2, that is 45, don't write. So this is the first part. Second part, they say that four points are collinear. Let me explain first. Suppose all the points are non-collinear, then we know that 45 lines can be drawn, but four points are collinear. So four C2 lines do not exist except the one which passes through them. 
I'll explain. Suppose one, two, three, four. These are the four collinear points. So will you say line AB, line AC, line AD, line BC, line BD, line CD, and so on? No. So total number of lines forty five. If all the points are non collinear, as four points are collinear, four C two that is six lines do not exist except the one which can be drawn through these four collinear points. Now, what is four C two? You should be able to obtain this orally. Four C two is six. So forty five minus six plus one. So how many such lines? Forty. Okay, right now, A part. As two distinct points determine a line, as two distinct points determine a line. Ten non-collinear points will determine. Ten non-collinear points will determine right now. Ten C two equal to right now. Forty-five lines will determine ten C two equal to forty-five lines. This is part A only. B part. B part. Ten non-collinear points determine. Right now for B part, ten non-collinear points determine forty-five lines. Ten non-collinear points determine forty-five lines. As as four points are collinear. As four points are collinear, as four points are collinear, comma four C two equal to six lines, four C two equal to six lines. Do not exist separately. Do not exist separately. Except EXCEPT, except the one, except the one which passes through, except the one which passes through these four points. Therefore, number of distinct lines equal to number of distinct lines equal to forty-five minus six plus one equal to forty.
फोर्टीन सम फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स फॉर्म बाय जॉइनिंग ट्वेल्व पॉइंट इफ ए पार्ट नो थ्री पॉइंट आर कोलिनियर बी पार्ट फोर पॉइंट आर कोलिनियर राइट आन विल राइट दिस इन शॉर्ट थ्री नॉन कोलिनियर पॉइंट डिटर्मिन अ ट्राइंगल थ्री नॉन कोलिनियर पॉइंट डिटर्मिन अ ट्राइंगल वी आर विंग पार्ट ए थ्री नॉन कोलिनियर पॉइंट डिटर्मिन अ ट्राइंगल देर फोर Twelve such points will determine. Twelve such points will determine. See on the screen. Twelve C three equal to. Two twenty triangles. Right. Now in B part, they say that four points are collinear. Right. Um. If four points are collinear. Four C three equal to four triangles. Do not exist. Therefore, number of triangles equal to. Two twenty less four. Two one six. Sum number fifteen. I have written solution in short. A word has eight consonants and three vowels. How many distinct words can be formed if four consonants and two vowels are chosen? Remember, first we have to select four consonants out of eight and two vowels out of three, and those selected six letters are to be arranged. i repeat first we have to select four consonants from eight two vowels from three so for selection we have to use combination once we select six letters they are to be arranged okay so uh, number of selections is what 8c4 which is 70 into 3c2 which is 3 so 210 now six letters can be arranged among themselves in 6p6 that is six factorial ways so what is the total number 210 into six factorial that is 210 into 720 so 1 lakh 51200 right now sum number 16 find n if first part nc8 is nc12 we know that ncr is ncn minus r i repeat ncr is ncn minus r they are called as complementary combinations we have proved this so i replaced nc8 by what ncn minus it is nc12 equate suffixes so n minus 8 must be 12 so n is 20 you may also say ncx is ncy So x plus y is n. That is n equal to eight plus twelve, twenty. Same thing. Let me explain the second part also. Twenty three c three n is given to be twenty three c two n plus three. Now we have if n c x equal to n c y, then there are two possibilities. Either x is y or x plus y equal to n. And therefore, in this case, I can say that three n 
equal to 2n plus 3. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. So that gives me n equal to 3 or 3n plus 2n plus 3 equal to 23. That is 5n equal to 20. So n equal to 4. Is this value allowed valid? Yes, it is. You can verify, put n equal to 3. So 23c9, is it same as 23c11? Yes, because 9 plus 11, I'm sorry, a 9 plus, this will be what? Okay, so for n equal to 3, 23c9 is 23c9, obviously. But for n equal to 4, 23c12 is 23c11. Absolutely, because 12 plus 11 is 20. Right now. A third sum is important. 21C6N equal to 21C N square plus 5. Uh, so there are two possibilities, either 6N equal to this or 6N plus this equal to 21. Let us consider 6N equal to N square plus 5. We get a quadratic equation whose roots are 1, 5. In the textbook, they have given both the values, but how can N be 5? Because in that case, this becomes 21C30. So combinations of 21 things taken 30 at a time, absurd. And therefore, uh, this is not possible, right? I mean this, this becomes 35, this is 30. Now, second equation is n square plus 6n minus 16 equal to 0. That gives me n equal to minus 8, absurd because n is a natural number. Second, 2, that value is valid. So there are only two answers, n equal to 1, n equal to 2. Now fourth part, 2ncr minus 1 equal to 2ncr plus 1. Now can r minus 1 be same as r plus 1? No. So r minus 1 plus r plus 1, I'm sorry, uh, this should be r minus 1 plus r plus 1 equal to 2n. So that r equal to n. So what is the value of n? It is nothing but r. Fifth is simple one. It is for homework. Answer is 6. So that's it for today.